the man to watch. He's been flying in the Europa League, top scorer in this competition. Can he add to his total this evening? Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. My name is Derek Ray, with me in the commentary box is Arsenal legend Lee Dixon. And a very significant occasion in this knockout cup competition, it's the first leg match coming up. It is Olympiacos and they take on Maritimo. Yes, Derek, a break from league action for these clubs today. Obviously a long way to go in this tournament, months away from the final. Both teams will be hoping they can put a good performance in today and put their place in the next round. And this is how the hosts will begin the game today. This particular setup is becoming more and more in favour. Yes, Derek, one central striker, two wingers who will provide the width, a very narrow three in midfield, a back four, the two full backs will be expected to support, but also defend and help out the centre backs. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. We're thinking 4-3-3. Yeah, one central striker, Derek. The width comes from the wingers who will stay high and wide. A very narrow midfield and a conventional back four. And they're underway in the first leg of this Europa League round of 32 tie. Potential danger here. El Arabi. Looked as though they meant business, but now they've got to try again. Jean. And attempting the through ball. Andre Almeida. Well, he's the player many people have focused on in the build-up to today's match. And if you believe the stories coming out of the camp, this could be his final season. Could he be thinking about hanging up his boots? Well, Derek, if those rumours are true, it's going to be a big loss for this club. They've really come to love him here. His performances have been superb. To be fair, when you get to a certain age, it's really hard to keep the body going. Not so much in the matches, it's the training, really. Wouldn't be a surprise if he did retire. Bernardo. Jean. Andre Almeida. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow. Lee, what do you think we'll see from him? Yeah, he scores goals, Derek. And that's what you want from the player, the top end of your pitch. Get the ball, put the ball in the net. It's a simple job, really. Lazar Rangelovic. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Foul there, free kick awarded. Bruma must take the lead here oh but he's missed it how on earth is this still level I don't know Derek just a real lack of composure in the end they should be ahead
Jean. And that is offside. Buchalakis. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. Must be! Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. A chance now with the corner. Taken short. It's a perfect challenge. Could be a chance to break here. Well, it petered out. El Arabi. Not a fantastic piece of defending, was it? Not a bad pass, it was. Important that he retains possession. Jean. Oh, lovely, incisive pass. Can he take advantage? There it is, and he could scarcely have had an easier finish. Well, I'm sure you want to see this again. Where is everybody? The defenders, nowhere to be seen. It's an open goal. Let's have another view of that goal. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. And the whistle is sounded for... Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Bernardo. An authoritative challenge. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Well, plenty of interest in Wolves and what they've been doing on the transfer front. Good news for Wolves fans, Lee. New signing in place. Well, he's been the obvious target for many clubs and you can see what... Surely! And it's gone in! Just what the doctor ordered. Things looking very bright for them now with this buffer. Well, I just love to look at perfect technique and you won't get any better than this. It's just a dream strike. Brilliant, brilliant effort. So 2-0 now. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Substitution time it is. The visitors have totally controlled possession. Really starting to dictate the tempo of this game now. And they're creating chances as well. I'm not sure their opponents seem to have the answer, to be honest. They can't seem to get a foothold in this game. Oh, what an opportunity. Making sure nothing untoward happened. Superb tackle.
And they will make the change now. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Jean. Well, just listen to this. You can really sense the frustration around the stadium. They've been poor today, far below their usual standards. They're just allowing their opponents too much time on the ball. They have to press more. Well, that is how to run at defenders. Physically strong and secure on the ball. Less than convincing defending. Has a go! Another goal! And surely there's no way they can throw this away! Absolutely dominant! Well, here it is again. He does so well to slip past his man, left him stranded, and then the brute force and guile in equal amounts sets up the chance to score. And he doesn't disappoint, does he? Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Inside the last quarter of an hour. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. And just like that, they've lost possession. Bruma. Getting forward. Is it going to be? Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. It is to be a throw-in. And with play stop, they will make the change now. Jean. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. This attack looks highly promising. It might be on for them. He takes aim, and a really good diving stop. Short corner favoured. And so the referee confirms that this first leg is officially over. 
just what the away fans were hoping for. Now they've got to hold their nerve when the action moves to their patch next time round. Well, they were good today, Derek, weren't they? Really dictated the tempo of the game. Control, possession in midfield, that's where you need to be in control. Bit of confidence going into the second leg, that's for sure. And they're underway in the first leg of this Europa League round of 32 tie.